Hi everyone, this is Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and today we're going to talk about medicating your guinea pig. Now that's really important and I realize that a lot of people kind of struggle with that. Um, I've also heard that some people try and give medication but then in, in the mouth it is and then you know half of it ends up everywhere instead of inside the guinea pig. So um, I have a few t tips and tricks I want to share with you today and for this purpose I've actually we have some vitamin C here that we've prepared. Um, normally your medicine is probably going to be a lot less than this but we just thought we might as well just you know make it a nice big one. Um, so let me start. I've got five different guinea pigs I'm going to show you because not all guinea pigs are the same. Some will struggle, some will be easy. So I know we have one in there that's, that's not really easy to medicate, that um, is a bit of a struggler. So we'll see how I do with that. Um, and that said, let's start. Oh, and um, sorry for the 80s get up. I just felt a little playful today. <laughs> <laughs> and I just brought out the old 80s, early 90s stuff. So um, everybody said it looked look nice. So I thought, okay, let's run with it. Uh, it's still different, right? Normally you don't see me dressed like this. So, okay, let's bring guinea pig number one. Okay, this is Tootsie. And Tootsie actually was born here at the rescue. She was fostered by one of the volunteers. She was adopted out and then sadly, to no fault of her own, she came back but um, I'm using her today as um, as a you know as my my helper um, okay my syringe you usually will find that your medication syringes come in the 1 ml syringes and now what now you got your guinea pig you got your syringe loaded how am I gonna get it in the guinea pig it's not easy so a lot of people tend to uh, put the guinea pig on the table and just do this now that's not, you know, a lot of them are not going to want it. Now, the thing is that this is actually vitamin C, which they, it tastes nice. Some really like it. So I'm a little bit cheating here, but I just really want to give you, um, you know, the different um, ways that people would try it and the way that I would do it. So let's see. So people do this and it's really hard because, well, you, she happens to really like it, so I'm not having a hard time here at all. Okay, well, here you go. If it is like this and your guinea pig loves it, well, then this is what happens. It's really easy, right? So there, did you like that? Okay, well, that's not representative of how you would normally give your guinea pig or how they would respond when you're trying to give them the medication. Okay, Tootsie, you failed. <laughs> Let's try another one. This is Romy. And Romy is already kind of, I can tell she's just a little bit skittish also. So come on, Romy, let, let me get this in you. Come on. Okay, well, it's, it's tough because she's not really letting me, she wants to run away. So first of all, let's do this. Let's keep the guinea pig closer and hold the piggy. You have a lot more uh, control this way. Um, and then you can try it again like this. But listen, the best way to do it is not like this, or like like this i see a lot of volunteers kind of do this and the guinea pig is going all over with 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 her or his head this is what i do i pick them up and again look how i pick them up i have my my in between here that little paw goes here because that gives me a lot of um control i then bring them close i hold them here and this takes a little practice i'm, I'm aware that everything looks so easy and natural when I do it, but then if you try it at home, if you're not as experienced, it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, how on earth does she do it? It's practice, guys, that's all it is, okay? I've been doing this for a while, so for me it seems looks easy, but it can be just as easy for you. Now, <clears throat> what people do is they hold the head, but that's not really helping either, because they're still escaping all over the place. So she's kind of calmed down now, but what you really want to do is you want to hold her and see how she's all tucked in here. You want to hold her and then hold by the teeth right here, right here where the teeth are on the side. Okay. Right in the mouth. See how I'm holding her now this way I can put it in and she is pretty secure. I can put it in and she's not going to fight me as much because she really kind of can't because I'm gently holding her. I'm not forcing her. Um, but this is much easier. Now, the other thing is also I would like to point out is that you can put this 
that's a thing that people do. They don't put the, the syringe in far enough into the mouth. They just put a little bit this this part in and then that's it. And that's kind of hard as well. So you can easily put the syringe in this much into their mouth and then just gently, don't just like plunge it, but just very gently go and put the medicine in. So, and then really they have no other choice but to swallow it. So let's try this again and you'll see that I go in a little more with my syringe, gently put it in, and there. Good girl. That was a bit of a treat now because that was vitamin C. Yeah, good girl. Okay, let's try the next. So this is Sally. So Sally is a little bit tough. She resists everything. <laughs> She's got a mind of her own, so I'm going to try and see if I can give it to Sally. So Sally, what do you think? So again, I'm not going to try this way because that's what so many, you know, that's not the right way. It, it isn't unless, you know, she behaves like the very first skinny pig and just loves it and laps it up. But usually, guys, that's not the case. So I'm going to have to grab her. I'm going to have to bring her close to me. I'm gonna have to do this with my whole arm hold this is actually the holding position as well just like this the regular holding position how I hold the guinea pigs and then again I'm gonna use my my fingers to yeah she's fighting me yep she's right so you're gonna get a piggy like this and it's not easy but watch me if I were to just hold her by her head she will fight you fighting me yeah she's kind of struggling she's trying to get it out of with her feet it's like oh my goodness it's just really kind of hard but then watch when I do it the other way where I hold her a little bit lower right here actually if that were the equivalent I just hold her face like this I bring it up a little bit I make sure she's secure here I get the syringe and then I can actually See, she's still struggling a little bit, but it's not as bad because I have that control. I bring up her head a little bit, which also um, encourages the swallowing reflex. So there, yeah, I kind of tricked you, didn't I? <laughs> All right, next one. Tizzy. Hi, Tizzy. Hi, little girl. Okay, let's start with you. Start giving you your medication. Okay, she goes, nah, I don't think so. I don't like it. Okay, so again, I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to bring her to me. And remember this, when picking up, this really is so important. This I do, I don't even think about it. So you can pick up your guinea pig like this, but you can see how the pig is kind of hanging already, whereas she's much more comfortable when you hold her like that. Do you see the difference? Um, and you have so much support to so try it next time you pick up your guinea pig. You'll notice that it really is a big difference. Okay, I'm bringing her close. I am making sure she's secure. And then I grab her little head and open her lips and I put in the syringe. Now again, you'll see that she's trying to struggle with her forepaws a little bit. But, and just gently because sometimes you see I just went a little too fast and it, it, it fell out of her mouth. But there, good girl. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. And the next one, I have a surprise for you guys. Everybody's favorite guinea pig of the moment. This is Squishy, my little Squishy. He was a, a little baby that was orphaned that Claire and Ursula brought back to life. He was basically, well, two of his siblings passed away, unfortunately. Um, and he was being uh, bottle fed all through the night for a whole week uh, and um, yeah he nearly didn't make it so it's amazing that we have him with us here and he's now become super tame of course because he's been handled so much he purrs when you pet him he's like brrr, brrr, and that by the way guys is a good sound because a lot of people ask me I, I was I was a little surprised that, that everybody people were uh, you know wondering whether or not that was a good sound or not and I go no if they purr like that when you pet them and they go brr, brr, almost like a little cat and their whole little body vibrates good sound that means they like it okay all right so baby it's pretty much the same thing it's just smaller right so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna hold him the same way it's just smaller and 
I'm going to give him very gently a little bit of the medication which of course in this case is vitamin C and I think you like it you like it okay I know it's a little cheating because if they don't like it they'll fight a little harder but I just wanted to show you you know the technique rather than you know giving them the meds and see them really fight fight it's just really the technique you're not gonna have to start practicing you want more are you done thinking about it come on come on okay so then I'm gonna I do want to get this last little bit into him so I'm just gonna grab him and very gently there there good baby so there this is my technique for medicating guinea pigs I hope it helps because I know it's not easy so I thought this would be a really good video so everybody can benefit from kind of you know my experience in doing this on a daily basis for 20 plus years thank you so much for watching thanks Sas. thank you squish. thanks squishy